What's going on guys, Brian Rabbit here, and uh, today's Saturday. I thought it would be a good time to do a little bit of inventory clean out. So I've got some packages to open, I've got a bunch of legendary engrams, and we're just gonna get started because I just wanna get these things out of my inventory. Hopefully, if we're super lucky, one of them will turn into something good, but that's about all I'm hoping for, is one good item out of all these packages. So let's start off on our Titan here. We've got a bunch of purple engrams here. Let's get going, let's start with the gloves here. What do we get? Ursus Tactical, so we'll have to check those out. Got a helmet here. Dude, that picture looks awesome. I don't know what that helmet is, but I love the picture on it. All right, we got some boots here. Commando Custom, okay. I think those might be the ones that have the, uh, the nightstick on them. All right, we got a Legendary Heavy Weapon Engram. Pax Totalis. All right, I don't think I've heard of that one either. All right, and finally the sub subtle nudge, okay. And we got one more special, the Rude Awakening. I know I'm not keeping that, I really don't like that shotgun. All right, let's take a look at some of the stats on these uh, new guns that I got. Subtle nudge, we got kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo, and reloading this weapon has a chance to grant a larger than normal mag. Those are interesting perks. The thing about this is the super low impact on it. But you know what? I might play around with this a little bit. It's got the Taxus SLS 15 scope, which I kind of like, and the short gaze scope, which I also like. So I'm definitely gonna play around with this thing a little bit. I'm pretty sure in the Crucible, it's a two headshot kill weapon, which is rough, but we'll check it out anyway. It'll be fun to play with. I haven't played with one yet. Uh, the Rude Awakening, I know is no good. This one's got full auto and army of one. Jeez, that doesn't seem too bad though, does it? Injection mold, increased stability, faster handling, reduced range. That's awful. High caliber rounds and single point sling. This thing may actually be worth at least playing around with a little bit, so I'm not gonna delete it right off the bat. What do we get? We got a new rocket launcher, a void rocket. This thing's got Grenadier, kills with this weapon to reduce the cooldown of your grenade, and tracking. Shells fired from this weapon track your targets. Do we have any good of the fitted stock, quick draw, speed reload, soft launch, counter mass, and aggressive launch? This thing doesn't look too hot. I think I'm just gonna delete it right now, get rid of it. All right, let's check out the armor. Commando Custom. This thing's got pulse rifle ammo to it. Let's put it on and see what it looks like. Put on all of these here. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of the shader just so I can see its real look. Dude, the helmet looks fucking cool as shit. I love it. Uh, it's The legs are not the ones with the nightstick. That's what I was thinking they were. I actually don't mind this armor set at all. Like, it looks kind of neat. All right, let me go back. What do we got? Increased melee attack speed and more super energy from non-guardian kills. Not a great helmet. Increased reload speed with auto rifles. Probably gonna get rid of that one as well and more ammo for pulse rifles. So, I don't think I'm gonna keep any of them. Uh, that helmet does look cool as hell though. I wanna check it out with a couple of shaders here. Let's, Aru's Passage. Oh, that looks badass. That is a super cool looking helmet, I gotta say. I really like the look of that thing. Oh, with the blacksmith shader. Uh, not as cool with the blacksmith shader. Glow hoop? Uh, I don't mind it with glow hoop. Gold spiral? Not too bad. And I think we already looked at it with the Nefertiti. Man, that's a cool looking helmet. I really like that helmet. I wish it had better stats. I would definitely keep it. Alright, let's go over to the... Postmaster and see what we got in these packages. Would really love to see a ship come out of these packages. I'm looking for the new uh, new monarchy ship. I haven't gotten it yet. Let's see what we get. A mode of light and a strange coin. Uh, nothing down there. A strange coin and a lector's grip. Increased reload speed with hand cannons. Now, those look like they're hunter grips, right? Yeah, hunter grips. Maybe I'll throw those on my Hunter just to check them out. Uh, they do look a little special, so you know what I'm gonna do is I'll put them in my vault. And uh, when I move over to my Hunter, I'll put them on there. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed those for my Hunter, and I gotta say, they look pretty cool. 
uh, and I like the perks better than my last set of hand cannon reload speed gauntlets. So on my Hunter, my previous set were the Astral Lord Grips, which gave me increased reload speed with hand cannons and causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. These ones basically split that up, increase reload speed with hand cannons, but melee hits replenish grenade energy. So uh, not a whole lot of difference. Actually, they're almost exactly the same. I think the wording is a little bit different, but I kind of like the look of these better. It's a little something new. Let's take the shader off and see what they look like without the shader on. Oh, I kind of like that. I actually think that's pretty cool looking. So I think I'm gonna keep these ones on my Hunter. I'll level them up. It'll give me something to level up. I think that looks really cool. All right, so let's check, take a look at what the Postmaster has for the Hunter. He's got a few packages here. Let's start with the public events. That did not give me anything. Okay, a mode of light for the second one, a mode of light for the uh, third one. Cryptarch package got me a legendary Engram. I'll go decrypt that. And my dead orbit package gave me no shit. Oh, <laughs> the Fermi solution. This is the second time I got the Fermi solution. Last week I got the Fermi solution. Uh, also on this character, that's hilarious. I've now got two of the dead orbit ships. That is really funny. So let's bring that uh, legendary Engram over to the Cryptarch and see what's inside of it. That's awesome. I can't believe I got another Furby solution. That's amazing. I mean, I'm going to put that on right now. <laughs> that is awesome. I've got two of this ship now. That is, it's to me, it's the coolest ship in the game right now. I, I love it. I absolutely think it's a fabulous looking ship. All right, let's move on. Let's go over to the Crypt Arc and uh, see what we got for this legendary Engram. Get rid of these blues real quick. Nothing from those. Sanction 6. What do these things look like? Let's go over to Boots. Sanction 6. Oh, these are the ones with the blood on them. Those don't look too bad. Alright, so what do they got for perks? Carry more ammo for a hand cannon. The problem with boots, right, is that you always want the ones that have heavy weapon ammo. So like the exile ones are really good, exotics are always really good, and the raid ones are always really good. But everything else, you always want the heavy weapon one. You never really want the extra ammo for hand cannons. I generally go to my chest for that kind of thing. So I probably won't keep these. But uh, they look kind of cool anyway. I'm just going to check them out with a couple of shaders just to see what they look like. Let's see, Pre-Dawn. Not too bad. Let's see, Provincial Royale. I think this is a hilarious shader. That's why I keep it around. I'm really liking those uh, gloves, though. I think those are cool as hell with the striping down the side. Blacksmith. I love the Blacksmith shade. Oh, that looks actually really cool. It's got the webbing in the back and kind of like the plating on the front. That's cool. I like that quite a bit. All right, so we're going to move over to our Warlock, and uh, that'll be the last one of the day. All right, here we are back at the Reef with the Warlock. Let's go over to the Postmaster, see what he's got for us. I don't think he's got too much. We do have a public event. Got some Spirit Bloom. All right, Future War Cult. He is really low-leveled in Future War Cult, so I can't imagine we're going to get anything too good. Yeah, we got a Moda Light. So... Not too much for the Warlock, but we did get a Fermi solution. We got a couple of really cool pieces of armor. Well, cool looking anyway, but probably nothing that I'm going to get too excited about. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.